City are still cleaning up after a tornado ripped through the community one month ago. WTVA's Chelsea Brown spoke with some residents about what they are doing to get back into their homes. Here in Calhoun City, some people in the southern area of town are still displaced from their homes because of a tornado that hit the evening of May 2nd. Now, I did speak with some neighbors about how the community has come together to help one another. It was a bad time, but it could have been a lot worse. We're just blessed that nobody was hurt. Tania Bingham was headed home from Memphis when the storms came through. She came home to most of her neighborhood in pieces. It was an EF1 tornado that came through Calhoun City, damaging many people's homes and businesses. Robbie Goodwin and many neighbors agree it could have been worse. Everybody ought to be thankful today that we still here because it was bad. It was bad. One month later and looking around, you can still see those trees that were snapped and many homes that are still damaged. The community, know, you know, I know they did what they can do. I'm just going to put they did what they can do and they still working on things as you can see. Luckily in the storm, no one got hurt. Members of the community and churches brought food to the people helping clean up and the folks affected. The whole community come together. I mean, people from other communities come in and, and done a whole lot of work. And it was Many people in the area were without power for almost a week. And it was hot, you know, and I was ready for the power to come back on so I could turn the air on. William Wright lives in an apartment complex. He was ready for the power to come back on to cool off. Everyone in the area is thankful for everyone who came out to help after the storm. Uh, utility workers and, and, and first responders, they come in like champs. I mean, they've they done a real good job. Goodwin says there are still a lot of places around town that need to be cleaned up or fixed. In Calhoun City, Chelsea Brown, WTVA 9 News.